Hey everybody and welcome back to Everybody's Going to the Rapture. I have had lunch today and I am feeling on the ball. So let's continue, shall we? Yeah, there's nothing else over there and I think I saw the light. Oh, excuse me. The light disappeared down here. What is that? What is that? Is that a dead squirrel? Is that a vaporized squirrel? I don't know. Oh, they're dead birds. Aha, I knew it was a dead animal. Okay, so these are the dead birds that everybody was talking about. Let's see a dead horse or a dead dog. What is this? Tipworth Woods. How lovely. Harvey! Harvey, come on, boy. Oh. Come on, Harvey. Come on, Harvey. Come on, boy. Harvey! Harvey! I guess this is where I'm going. Got to find Ave. And this is the way that they went, so... We're going on an adventure. This would make me so nervous. Just push it. Push the bloody thing. You push it. I told you it would get stuck. I should have just taken the car. This was a stupid idea. <sighs> Moving here was a stupid idea. And I told you, Barbara said they blocked the roads. Oh, my God. You go and look then. Wait, is that Harvey? Harvey? Harvey! Harvey! Here, boy! Come here, boy! Okay. So I guess they were trying to leave on foot. They were trying to escape on foot. Okay, well. Let's go see what happened to them and the dog. Okay. And I, I keep forgetting to read their names. I'm just, like, uh, taken by the experience. <clears throat> Right, I'm cresting the hill. Oh, it's another jungle gym. Whoa, what was that? Oh no. Ah, a hobby horse. Now, I wonder if this is one of those that has the springs on it, or are kids just gonna get on and just sit there? Because I've never seen a, a, a toy like that. Oh, hello. Yes, I am here. Oh, whoa. Oh, hey, you can see that. Okay. There we go. Wendy, I'm married. You have to stop this. He's still sweet on you, Elizabeth. He, he left. It's too late. You wow. loved each other long before she came along. It's just about making things as they should be. Wendy, no. It's not like you won't bump into each other anyway. One drink, what can that hurt? <sighs> one drink, maybe. Oh, one <laughs> drink, wonderful. <laughs> I'm not liking Wendy. I... <clears throat> I like how the light comes back to the world and you see the shadows gradually come back with it it's like ah oh, that's cool okay so back to looking for harvey <clears throat> saving oh i've hit a checkpoint have i okay oh we we're looking for the dog but you know i'm game i am gami now walk down here no Okay. Invisible wall time. Got it. Alright. <clears throat> I would imagine when the rainwaters come in that this place would be cut off. Because the uh, stream, river, whatever, would rise too high. Where's the dog? I ended up back up here. Whoa, freaky. Alright, where are you where are you going? Yeah, alright, see ya. Alright. So I'm back here. Uh 
Huh. Hey, glowy do that. Okay, fine. Whatever. Where are you going? <clears throat> I knew you couldn't be going back the other way. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I just came. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just came from that direction. Where are you leading me to now? Down another trail. Kinston Pond. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what we have in Kinston Pond. Nope, nope. No take back sees. I'm going where you were. I know you pointed me in the right direction. Up oh, there it is. <clears throat> I see it. Uh, too late, I saw you, little devil. Ugh. Fancy seeing you here. Oh, is everything all right, my dear? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm all right. I'm all right. It's just. Robert, that man doesn't deserve you. I know everybody thinks I'm just a miser and old busybody, but someone has to say what <clears throat> everyone else is thinking. We both know that this marriage, it's not how things are supposed to be. Are you talking about me and Robert? Or is this really about Stephen and Kate? Both? I suppose it is. I have to accept it. I know, but she doesn't belong here. You see that, don't you? There's a place for people, and this isn't hers. Oh. But I'm not talking about the colour of her skin. Don't look at me like that. Hmm. What they do up there, it's <clears throat> not natural. There are some things we're not supposed to understand. I don't like her, and I don't like how Stephen is around her. He was a better man when he was with you. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. So, Kate is of a different ethnicity. Huh. I wonder what ethnicity Kate is. I mean, being that this is England, <clears throat> I'd say Kate has a strong chance of being... Uh, of Indian or Middle Eastern descent <clears throat> or of African descent. One of those two. Strongest possibility. Of course, Kate can be of Asian descent, but usually when color of skin is mentioned, it's about cultures that tend to have more melanin in their skin. Uh, and I don't know if Kate is... Uh, <clears throat> Hispanic. Is it? Nope. I don't want to go up and over yet. But okay. Alright. It's interesting. I'm not talking about the... What is this? I'm not talking about the color of the skin. Oh, really? Okay. <clears throat> this has definitely piqued my interest a little bit more. I'm like, oh, oh ho. We get in the Wendy story, so I guess we looked at Kate, Stephen, and Jeremy, uh, who was the pastor, <clears throat> and Wendy a little bit more, but now we're really getting into uh, Wendy's side of things. All right, and it seems to be constantly like working its way backwards. All right, in a completely different side of town. <clears throat> Think? What is this? Yachton Road. Okay. Okay. Now you're leading me back down this way. Okay. Lead on. Oh, okay. You're leading me back this way. Alright. That's fine too. What do you want from me? Okay. You went that way, now you're coming back this way. Whoa, okay. <clears throat> you're obviously confused. So, 
I shouldn't be paying attention to you. Because you're half crazy. And you just scream in the distance. Kind of wish I was walking on shrubbery again. Hey, right, let's go back this way. Let me see if I can find anything. <clears throat> okay, so that's interesting. She's not playing the harlot. The mother was going on. She said, what they're doing up there is not natural. Oh, that's beautiful. And I can move. Oh. That's fine. How do you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Whatever. You're back there. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, let's keep going this way. <laughs> and now you finally fell over again. Beautiful. <clears throat> but so the mother was trying to get Stephen's old flame rekindled. Hmm. But Kate never thought that that was an issue. Look, I'm not following you. I saw that you were just sitting there admiring the flowers. I don't care what you have to say. Blah, 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 blah. Shut up. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You haven't got anything nice to say or anything constructive to say and or... Oh, so now you come this way. Alright, whatever. Yeah, you're really a bother, you know that? So... It's a train yard. Huh. Or a train station, excuse me, it's not a train yard, it's a train station. Really, like, knocking is really gonna get you somewhere. Alright. <clears throat> Fine. West Rail. The best rail. And that one's off the tracks. That's not a good sight. Ugh. I'm glad we don't have as many instances of a hello. Junction box out of commission until further notice. Okay. Ooh, can I? Will you let me? No. Okay. Fine. <clears throat> Spoiled sport. All right. I guess I have to walk the tracks. Well, that's interesting. That is. That's very interesting. Okay. Here I was thinking this game was just almost going to be completely one-dimensional. And I got proven wrong. <clears throat> you know, just, man, it's great. It's great. I don't know what I'm going to do here, but it's something. Is that a dead bird? Yep, dead birds. More dead birds. Firewatch. Ah. My Firewatch lookout. <clears throat> oh no, somebody broke in and stole my typewriter. Close the door. All right, whatever. I lost my shoes. No. It. I lost my shoes, sir. There's arches on the green. They take my shoes, sir. Howard. Howard Lantham. You open the door this instant, young man. I lost my shoes. Now get up. Get up. I lost my shoes. What on earth are you doing here, Howard? Stephen. He told me to stay in case Lizzie phoned. Stephen, where is he? What are you doing with those birds? Concentrate, Howard. Where's Stephen? He said he couldn't help them. He took my shoes so I'd stay. Listen to me, Howard Lantham. You find your shoes and you get to the village. Find Father Jeremy. He'll give you some soup or something. Be off with you. Where are you going? I'm going to find my son. Then I'm going to ask him what on earth he thinks he's doing. Huh. Okay. God, what is going on here? He sounds like... Oh, no, he died there. His nosebleed was vicious. He, he probably died there. Um... But he sounded like he was, uh, he had some form of autism or OCD. One of the two. It sounded very much like autism, though. Hmm. Okay. And why did she have birds? Why did she have dead birds in her hand? I have no idea. I'm, ever since I changed from wandering aimlessly 
uh, without the help of the little whatever they are to following the orbs I kind of worry that I'm missing like bits and pieces of the story or bits and pieces of what people were discussing because it's like oh what's that oh you're leading me this way oh all right let's go okay 40 yeah uh, yeah miles per hour because even trains move at varying speeds like that that's frightening like people were trying to get out and it crashed yep there's one and What's happened? Stephen, thank God. Listen, I need you to get to the junction box. See if there's a phone working. No, stay back! Don't come up here! Oh, Christ. Is that... Bloody idiot! <laughs> Where the hell did they think they were going? I think they must have thought they could walk out along the line. Well, there won't be any more trains now. You're a callous bastard, Stephen. Just pragmatic, Howard. Did you say there's a working phone in the junction box? Huh. Wow. Yep. There was a crash. Oh, man. Damn. I guess he tried to clean the blood up. I guess some lady, they got hit by the train. Okay, and Howard didn't seem like he had autism there. Hmm. That's so crazy. Ugh. This game has ebb and flows. It ebbs when it seems like, uh, you know, nothing's really happening, and I'm lost, and the game doesn't seem to know what it wants to do quite yet. And it doesn't really point me in the direction I need to go. And then it just hits you in the balls with, oh wow, people are dying. I'd be more afraid if one of these opened and just a crazed person was, uh, 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 and just started chasing me down the street. I'd walk so fast away, you wouldn't know what happened. Oh, man. Now we're in one of those ebb periods. Where it's like, all right, nothing's happening. Again. Again. Uh. Okay, so. People, well, mm, Stephen's mother, Wendy, doesn't like Jeremy. Dead bird. Jeremy is the priest of the town. Jeremy assisted somebody in dying. That I know. Possibly her husband. I'm not sure. Um, I think I stepped on a dead bird. The townspeople don't like Stephen and feel uncertain of Kate because they are scientists. Okay. All right, I'm seeming to piece that together. And yes, I know, it's been floating by my head and kind of waiting on me to walk down here and make progress. Because, yeah, it's not really leading me anywhere. Oh, that's my next destination. All right, right? F you. I'm going in here. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Because I'm supposed to still be looking for... Yep. Rachel, darling, I'm sorry about taping over your music, but we, that is your dad and I, in case you come home, I mean, I know Mrs. Graves is looking after you over there, but just in case you come home, we wanted to let you know we're going to head over to Bob's. Evie! Evie! Sam, I'm leaving a message for Rachel. Are you going to say hello? Jesus Christ, Evie, we ain't got time for this. The bloody car won't start. We're going to have to walk. Sam, shush, it's for Rachel in case she comes back here. But Charlie says everyone's getting together at the hall. Rachel's at the camp. She'll be fine. Rachel, right, huh. darling, anyway, listen, as I was saying, we're going to be at the village hall. We'll wait there for you. I think it's best if you just stay put and mind what Mrs. Graves tells you. We love you, darling. Bye. You finished? Right, 
Grab that bloody case and let's get moving. Come on. Wow. Wow. Okay, so people are scrambling to get... Oh, look at this. Manly men. Oh, I think that's kilograms, kilos. Where out where his head was on the bench, didn't he? So I take it he was a man who was fairly in decent shape. I'd be surprised if he had a smoker's cough. Didn't seem like it would make sense. I can't get in here, can I? Got the wrong handle for it, but all right. All right, so I'm gonna cut the video here. More pieces are coming together, but the pieces assemble very slowly in this game. And when I say very slowly, I mean very slowly. Can I, can I get up here and look at the vista in the view? Ugh. That is beautiful. But all right, thank you so much for joining me. If you like it, if you liked it, mash that like button like there's no tomorrow and share the video with the world. Man, time is going by. Hit me up on Twitter and hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the videos thus far. And I am the outlier. Oh my gosh, that that is move. Is it supposed to be turning tonight? Oh, man. And I will see you all in the next video.